Okay, so Nick Henry has been patiently awaiting my response on this question about neurosurgery and the difficulty of getting into it after the step one goes to pass fail. You wrote me a big paragraph here. You said you've seen stuff on Reddit about how after step one goes to pass fail, it'll be nearly impossible uh, to be getting in without tons of research and publications for IMGs, at least that is. So I will address this question, okay? Will it be difficult to get into neurosurgery or any other difficult specialty without tons of research, especially if you're an IMG after the, spe after the step one goes pass fail, okay? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find us on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. The links are down below. Now let me address the actual question, which was about the difficulty getting into a, a specialty such as neurosurgery uh, after the step one goes to pass fail, especially for IMGs where you need tons of research, publications, etc. Look, there's a combination of the fact that you're always going to have a speculative answer. It's always speculation at best, okay? You're going to get a diversity of opinions on the forums. A lot of people, especially in a public domain, they love to be very negative, okay? So you have to learn to sort of block out a lot of negativity, okay? But what I can tell you, apart from the speculation you're going to constantly read, is there are certain objective metrics that will become more important after the step one goes to pass fail. That makes sense. For instance, people can reasonably see that 2CK will matter a lot more. Okay, that makes sense. And unfortunately, clinical grades will matter more. Okay, the step one and two, the combination has enabled uh, more of a, a level playing field because uh, grades can fluctuate between schools. Some schools might just lavishly give out higher grades than other schools. Okay, that's an annoying uh, element that the, the numerical step one helped to uh, nullify. Okay, but the point is 2CK, the numerical score, score will become more important after step one goes to pass fail. Your clinical grades, unfortunately, will become more important. And in terms of research and publications, the answer is yes, that's going to become more important. It does not mean that you can't match into neurosurgery without copious research and publications, but you should be mindful of the fact that, yes, you are going to have to do the best you can to adapt to new circumstances and make yourself competitive. It's playing the game, okay? It's extremely annoying, this idea of being conformist to a system that requires certain things, okay? And while the step one is numerical, that's one way to kind of get around needing research, especially if you're a good test taker. But let's just say it obviously is not going to hurt you to have more research and publications under your belt. If your stress factor is that for some reason it's going to be very difficult to get publications, posters, case studies, whatever they are. If that's your concern, just look, you're going to have to do the best you can to get good letters, okay? If you can do a visiting rotation rotation at an institution you hope to get in with, and you've got to knock 2CK out of the park, and you have to do the best you can on rotations, okay? It's really as simple as that. You're going to get speculation once again about the magnitude of the importance of research and publications. You're going to hear some voices say it's impossible without them. I can tell you there's enough spots throughout the country and there's going to be people who don't have copious research and publications. Okay, It's just uh, not everybody is the same. So just relax Okay, and just do the best you can to improve your application and... That's it. I mean, I'll just continue to make more content. You know the deal. Uh, I don't think I need to make a 49-minute clip on this, but I think I've communicated my point concisely enough. Okay, so if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.